region when it comes to our electoral activities, at least from what we know since 1992. Greater Accra is also a swing region. The Western region is a swing region. The Bono regions are swing regions. The Ashanti region falls always for the New Patriotic Party. And then the Volta region falls for the National Democratic Congress. And so Asin North was a very, very big deal. And we, that seat had been made vacant following a ruling by the Supreme Court that Honorable James Jachikwesin can no longer hold himself as a member of parliament for that area. And so it was days passed and weeks passed and then eventually the by-election that was slated for the 27th of June happened on Tuesday. Yes, just as past Tuesday. But of course it didn't go down without all the issues that usually would characterize elections in this country. We do know that the police have mentioned that they are um they are investigating some of the issues that came up um during the by elections the alleged shooting the distribution of cash and all of that well there are a few of the issues that must be um tabled so that the police are able to um, go at them because the police wrote a statement but the statement that the police wrote uh, seemed to have forgotten about some of those ones for example somebody mentioned to a uh, reporter Kamla Kluche and Janet will get that video ready for me somebody mentioned that fake cash had taken center stage fake cash counterfeit money had taken center stage in Asin North and also the fact that both James Jachikwesin and Charles Opoku, who stood on the ticket of the NPP, and James Jachikwesin on the ticket of the NDC, Charles Opoku on the MPP ticket, and James Jachikwesin on the NDC ticket, they were from the same family, and that they played a family game to show the government small pepe. Well, you want to listen to this tape right about now. So you see one thing, this community, eh? They are very wise. It's a family community. Even Charles is an uncle to Quasi. So most of the things that was happening here is a family game that we were playing. The money that they even came to share to their constituents, some of the 200 cities, some of them were fake. And the people identified and they even giving out mobile money, pushing mobile money to them. And it's a family game that we were playing here. So they tried to prove to the MPP that you are not a fool to be disgracing our uncle. That was why Family Yogurt came out, was so pissed off to Baumia, telling him that he stop all those kind of nonsense that he's doing with his song out there. So they, we are all happy, no matter who's an MPP or an NDC, because it's a family game that we play with the government. Mm. So, so, so what does this mean to you, residents here? I know, we, we love, we love, we want our, we want our uncle, our grandfather, yeah. our, our, our Lord to develop this constituency because the whole family, the whole family, he's an, he's an elderly person now in the whole family now. So he needs to develop this constituency. That's what we're looking for. Uh-huh. 
Thank you. So, Scan, what did you do? Scan, I'm going say, to Yes. 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 That's it. I'm a fan of him. Yes. You carry woman go close. You spend all your money. The get up say she no do. You can't they cry. You carry woman go close. 3FM 92.7. It's 35 minutes after 9 here on 3FM 92.7. Is it the case of you carry a woman go club, you spend all your money, say you no go do again? Well, Charles Opoku polled 42.15% uh, of the total votes cut out of the 99 polling stations that were available. And then James Chachi Kwesin polled 57.56%. 99 of the 99 polling stations, because that was a result. But there was a germane issue that a gentleman raised in there. And yes, they took the money. They voted against those who gave them the money. But most importantly, he asked the president the question, how much does a, a ball of kinky cost? Mind you, the president had spoken about the price of a ball of kinky in the run-up to the elections that brought him into power. So the person there took the money, and the reason they voted against the government was that they were asking, or if you like, the representative of the government in their synod constituencies, that they were asking how much the price of a ball of kinky costs. Listen to the president when he was looking for power. Listen to him. <laughs> That was President Nana Adodanko Kufuado while he was looking for power. He was complaining about the price of a ball of kinky at one CD. Today, how much does a price of a ball of kinky stand? Four CDs. In some cases, five CDs. And if the, it will be tied if it's served in an air conditioned room, seven CDs. Well, so that's the reality on the ground. What lessons can we learn from Asin North? Fake cash, and this is where you expect the police to be up and doing and act speedily with the, with the investigation. Fake police. 
fake soldier. We saw all that. The police would have to investigate. But what happened at that scene not tells us that we have not been wrong when we keep telling you to ask questions and to, to demand for what is rightfully yours. Because you cannot take the people for granted. The people of Ghana, the electorates, particularly the young people, they're getting wiser by the day. There will be a few who will be con who will continue to be, uh, you know, connected to the apron strings of politicians. That's fine. But the youth, beyond silently, um, what you call it, deciding, it is time for the youth to speak up. And earlier on sunrise, when we had a conversation about Galam, so you saw the back and forth. Somebody just has a, 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 an application. It's not a, a license. Oh. And he's already digging. And he says he's in the process. And if we don't take care, these things may not be, uh, we may not recover from these things in our generation. It may take another 50 years or more. And that is why you must recognize that nothing beats the power and the will of the people. Nothing. If the people decide, nothing will beat the power of the people. The third point is that if you take care of the grassroots, the grassroots will take care of you. If you take very good care of the ordinary people, of the grassroots, the grassroots will take care of you. They will not embarrass you. If you leave the grassroots to be hungry, you leave them to be worried, you leave them to be disturbed, you leave them to be distraught, you leave them to be unemployed, you leave them to be in, 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 at their lowest. When you come to them on your high horses, they will deal with you. But one thing that struck me was that we said we were broke. Yet at a same note, we were busy sharing cash. Now, if you say you are broke and you are splashing cash, how do you expect the Napconians, the youth in afforestation, the school feeding caterers who have not been paid, statutory payments that have staggered and delayed, pension bondholders, bondholders, the businesses that are suffering? And that's why everybody is beginning to demand their pound of flesh. Tanker drivers say we are going on strike. Civil servants say if you don't do this, we are going. Everybody is coming for their pound of flesh because we have all been made to believe that we actually are not as broke as we were told. We are not as poor as we have been told. There's actually money. And was that the IMF money that was being shared on the campaign ground? Was that the IMF money or was that somebody's personal money? And if somebody had that money, why were we going out to borrow and to even beg to borrow? And we will have to go and pay back. And why would the IMF complain? The IMF will complain because the IMF are diplomats. They don't want to offend anybody. So the same IMF who had to ensure that we're getting all the conditionalities. So let me tell you, your water tariffs that have gone up is a result of this IMF thing. Your electricity tariffs is a result of this IMF thing. The new taxes that have been put in there for, for you to pay more income tax, more excise tax and import tax and all of that is because of the IMF conditionalities. Your The debt exchange program, the haircuts that you didn't ask for, your bonds being delayed, the coupons being delayed. It's all a result of the IMF. So why would IMF complain if somebody had come to them to say, we are broke, we are poor, we need your help to bounce back. The president says, oh, we are bouncing back and we are splashing money. Why wouldn't the IMF complain? The IMF will not complain because the IMF are diplomats. And they don't want to offend anybody. Maybe they don't want to lose us borrowing from them because this is a, a what, 17th, 18th, 19th dance with the IMF. And it is time for any politician with the benefit of power, whether you're a member of parliament, whether you're a DC, MC, whether you are a government appointee, minister, whatever it is, it is time for you to recognize that not every dissenting voice is anti-system. Not every dissenting voice is anti-system. Not every dissenting voice is a politician that must force the person into a political uh, closing. Not everybody must be shut down. If the government had listened to some of the things that some of us had said, if they had just listened, this embarrassment would not have hit the government. For the general secretary of the ruling government to, to the governing party to come and say that they are being intimidated and that the police should sit up. <laughs> 
Because when you are a dissenting voice, you are either threatened, you are either beaten, or you are either targeted for killing like Ahmed Swali, or, or whatever it is. Just because you did not agree with what is being done. You don't agree that the, gov the size of the government is too big. You don't agree that some of the ministers or uh, the ministries could be merged you don't you 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 don't agree that we should have separate ministries and and have you know all that wage bill on our heads that two or three ministries could be merged for one person to manage because they're already chief directors that are doing the work you disagree that an elephant sized government is not good for us hey you are an enemy of the state you disagree that the president should not be flying a private jet hey you are an enemy of the state you disagree that um, the president should not be preaching to us that we should eat local rice and he will be eating foreign rice. Hey, you are an enemy of the state. You disagree that, well, we created NAPCO and it's proving that it was not going to be permanent. So, Operation Clean Your Frontage and all of those ones are just a replica of those things and that they may not work. Hey, you are an enemy of the state. Eventually, you see those programs crashing. Those last minute projects that we did, and the people in, in uh, Asin North are now asking for the projects to be done. Janet, you have that tape, right? The, the, the people said that maybe the machines are tired and that they, they want the machines. Check for yesterday's for that. The machines, maybe they are resting. They want the, the last minute projects. Where did we suddenly conjure the money from if we say we didn't have money? So the people will continue to collect our monies and vote against us because the people are becoming smarter. And voters dislike irresponsible and reckless commentary. Did the president say, for example, that the MPP candidate in Faswobi and Inneso? I thought that he was going to say in Fumswobi and Inneso. A slip of tongue. But you see, in the heat of the moment, that in itself undid the campaign for Mr. Charles, uh, Mr. Charles Opoku. Just like it did for Nilante Bannerman in Ododododo. Because the president on that same platform made a comment that has been called reckless and careless and irresponsible, making a prejudicial statement as an officer of the court. That Nipa Oba Oba Beko jail. And we will continue to applaud the police and maybe applaud the electoral commission because we have now seen with Asino that if we allow state institutions to work efficiently and effectively without trying to manipulate them and we allow them to work fairly fairly we will all be fine these for me are the fallouts from Asin North some would like to discuss Yvonne Nelson and Sarkozy that's fine I will choose the national issues any day because when we are done talking about what people did in their private bedrooms 10 years ago, we will still come back to the national issues. And the national issues keep confronting us. So this perhaps should be a wake-up call to the government that, look, the goodwill that you had in 2016... The goodwill that you had in there, the goodwill in 2016, 1 million votes dwindled in 2020 by more than 500,000. That same nothing is telling you now that it has further dwindled. And there's in fresh information coming in that the Asin North area, the excavators, they have been moved away. Right? The, the, the things that were on the road. The roads that we're constructing, same Kumau situation, they've been moved away. One, two, Mamiya, Ukwanomi, Nyamao. Is that the case? I'm asking. One, two, Mamiya, Mi, Nyamao. Is that the case? <sighs> Let me pick your own thoughts. 055 and 055-691-0154. This is Community Connects Live on 3FM 92.7. Compute Ghana Limited. LG Day Sale is here again and it's time. It's even better and 
bigger. Amazing opportunity to grab this Friday. That's today. Big buy, big savings. Walk into any Compute Ghana showrooms nationwide and shop your favorite LG appliances on up to 40% discount. Wow, that's great. 40% discount. It's time to purchase that television, washing machine, gas cooker, home theater, fridge, freezer, microwave, and any other LG appliance you have been craving for. Don't miss this sale on the 30th of June 2023 in Compute Ghana. You can also shop online at www.compugana.com or call 0302 752 020. That's 0302 752 020 for inquiries. Life is good with LG at Compute Ghana. You are my first caller. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning, Johnny. Yes, I hope sir. you are good. Ah, I'm greater than Accra. Talk to me, my brother. Please, thank God. Today is Friday. It is. Thank God. It is. It's Friday. It is. Then <laughs> uh, you said it all. You see, now uh, the president has let us know. Okay. All right. The kind of person, the kind of person he is. As speculated. During the 2015 to 20 period to 2016 campaign, people, all people in the MPP telling us that when we voted for this man, we can never sleep our eyes closed. Uh, uh, this this uh, uh, Tamaklu, mm. uh, Yahoo Tamaklu, Tamaklu right? Said, yes, a whole lot of uh, uh, the, the people in the MPP they said it. Today, our taxpayers' money has been shared to the citizens, and then they are telling you that they collect it and they chop. And you, you, uh, you, you, you claim that you wanted to construct their road, you want to do a developmental work in their area. Now you move all, you move all the uh, excavators from the, the, the site. You see, that's why some of us are praying for by election in our constituency. <laughs> that within a short period of time, we mm. can get that development. You see, this government has shown clearly. And me, to me, is good. He has destroyed the MPP party. I don't know what MPP will tell the Asin of people going to uh, 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 running to the 2024 election. Okay. All right. So this, this president is a bad president and it will go down in the history of Ghana as the worst and the worst ever president Ghana has. Good you. morning. Thank you. Uh, Uria, good morning. Good morning. How good are morning. you? Yes, sir. Uh, we're doing well. Then talk to me. I wish I, I want to put all the issues you've discussed this morning together because mm. none of it looks um, positive <laughs> from the Ghana say. Mm. The Ghana says that of course if you don't have what it takes to mind mm. why why must the authority look on mm. hmm. for them to even start in the first place you played arise ghana youth for us this morning yeah if the youth should arise what are we going to what are we building is it in building our mother what are we building we can only be in our rooms like I am this morning. You talk and when you're, you are, you're, your time is exhausted, then you, you go back. Hmm. But nothing. You can't do anything. If you see somebody mining, if you see somebody doing the wrong thing, just like you said, and then you mention, depending on where, which part of the, in, in the country you are coming from or the party you support, your voice will be heard or not be heard. So if we are, we are to arise, I've seen the youth in, in, in the old days hmm. in an arrow uh, glass hmm. going to the sugar cane farm, to, to fund because they, they, they want to build the motherland. But right now, the youth want to be working at the same time, popping champagne every minute. If they, they, they want to know the reality, the youth of Ghana today, are not, they don't have the interest to work. The interest is to find money wherever it takes and, and to chill, spend 24 chill. hours. Mm, mm, it's true. Yet listen to the, 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 the voice of the president when he was campaigning. The talk, the talk is enough. I said to rule Ghana, we don't need even a book. Yesterday, I had, I had a doctor, Johnny Hughes, at one of the, the biggest hospitals, and this is mm, what he said. Mm. He shot at a doctor and said that the, 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 the patient is, is groaning in pain. Computers don't think. It is we who must think to know what to do. So in respect of what you've been taught in the school or in the class, you are supposed to think and not always depend on the computer. We must think. We are like other citizens. When the Chinese started coming in the early mm. 2000s, mm. I think they were coming to help us. So they look at what they are doing. Hmm. And no farmer now wants to, you know, reserve the land for future. Yeah. They want to eat now and die tomorrow because whatever the politicians are telling them is just a 
as a lie. So let me let me sell my land, eat and die, which is not good, but that is what we have come to. Sad. Shame. Big shame. Here we are. Thank you so much. Good morning. Pastor. Good morning, my brother. How are you? Oh, good, oh, my brother. Mm, talk to me, <laughs> sir. Mm. We are always grateful unto God, and may God continue to protect you. Amen. Amen. My brother, thank you very much. You say, any time you raise issue and people fight the truth, the truth will surely bounce back. That's right. Well, were you not even shocked when the president became a lead cancer mm. on a campaign platform? Hmm. For being on jail, etc. If I have seen that, excuse what, me, those who manage him, they should also check his emotion. Was that, he, was, was that he the lead counsel? He was actually the, oh, the, the, the main oh, judge. <laughs> the main judge. Thank yes. you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. I stand to be corrected. You see, the main judge. So, you, so in fact, the people got so provoked to the extent that your own candidate, you were saying different things about him. Negative pictures. But the people have spoken positively. They can send the machines away. Don't worry, the people have seen. When systems are well put in place with the local governance system, you surely get back what you want. But this alone is a signal unto others. People are calling for by election. For how long will it last? But you see, my brother, I have a problem with the Parliament of Ghana. With all these uh, instant projects, rapid projects in Kumeu and Asinov, has it gone through the right channel? That one day will not wake up and come back to dead men, dead, etc. You, are, you have a point Can there. You? Oh, yeah, yeah, precisely. I've been thinking of this. So I'm calling on the Parliament of Ghana. The executive can manu maneuver it ways. But we should set the record street. Okay. So that one day we don't come back. Look at Ghana and say, should that happen when Benny of Escavita? All of a sudden, yes, poor taxpayers' money was used to pay some people. Okay. Dead men dead. All right. Thank Have you. Have a blessed weekend. You too. Thank you. Kosami, assalamu alaikum. Alaikum assalam. Talk to me. How to go, Shadi. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you. Right. Uh, Zane, please. Uh, this message from you through you to the president. 2019. Was it his sonar? This sonar, I mean, address. Mm. Saying that, I mean, in the budget, mm -hmm. there's a, a housing project for Nima. And he lives with us. That I live with, that's why I say I live with them. And they are going to develop Nima. They are, they are going to construct housing projects in Nima. That's for 2019. Four years on. I, we are not seeing anything. Nothing. Nima looks, I mean, more ambitious than, than, than before. What is happening? So please ask him for us. Okay. That's what is happening. We, we, we truly will live with him. But we are not benefiting from his government. You see, Johnny. All the things that they said, uh, uh, told us, uh, assume now, mm. they came out and proved to them that they cannot be deceived. Two, today we are hearing another slogan, so, uh, so, so, so we are in addition, a uh, uh, project that you have presented, that agenda 111. Please, there are already cheap compound houses uh, in some districts who are getting rotten. Nothing is, nothing is being done to them. Hospitals have been built, you are not completing them. Large general hospitals have been pulled down, you are not building it. And you come out with pictures of Agenda 111. What are you telling the Latin people? Look, this government must sit up, uh, 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 Johnny. Okay. If we say, I mean, it's he's spreading himself, or, I mean, oil, uh, I mean, going for oil. Today, look at the basic schools. It's just a, a problem at the basic schools. That could be an arrangement in Johnny. There are some places there are no classes. Even though where there are classes, they cannot learn for, in the, for, uh, they cannot sit in those classes because of okay. race. All right. uh, thank you. Good morning, Frederick. Good morning, my brother. How are you, John? I'm greater than Accra. Talk to me. Uh, without, is my brother Kosami a Muslim? Yes, he is a Muslim. Oh, I, I don't know. Like, I wish him Barakat the Salah the other day. <laughs> he is my very good friend. It's not too late. No, we've him. never met before. I, I see. Want, I don't want to we are going to meet. Okay. He okay. will hold his peace. I'm coming to tell him the truth about NDC party. Okay. I am right here from Rollins House. Mm. I know anything about NDC party. Mm. The people of Asin North are just deceived. They mm. are rather deceived. They thought, look, mm. I was at Asin North. Mm. There was a White House cited by a certain market. Though I'm not fancy, so I don't know the name. Okay. Where NDC based fertilizer sharing. Mm. They are sharing money as of the rest of the media houses. Okay. They have recording 
mm. of uh, or what transpired there. Okay. NDC was caught sharing money. They asked the person. Mm -hmm. He said he he caught something that that is what he's doing. So he have a list of all mm. NDC members that they are giving money to. The question is, if you have money to give to NDC members, could it be shared on the day you are going to elect to to cast your vote? Okay. All right. NDC should stop deceiving the people of Ghana. Mm. Now, let me tell you, if it comes to development, my area here, come here. You know, Qatar district uh, uh, have been divided. Angola district is separated from Qatar. Okay. Right? Now, I can tell you for a fact, mm. the project that MPP is doing here, I get the one where it's at Abotwe. If you come here, call me. Okay. Me. If, if you come this Ogbochocho festival, mm. I will take you around to all the MPP projects. Okay. Angola clinic, they are now converting it to a district hospital, you understand, which is 90 to 80 to 90 percent completion. Okay. Now, district administration block, which is for district assembly, is constructed by MPP government. Qatar government. Okay, I think now you are trying, trying to list all the projects. We don't have that time. We have a lot. No, no, we don't we have, have time. We have a lot. I thank you. I hear you. I, your point oh. is very clear. Thank you. Uh, oh. Papa, good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Yes, sir. <laughs> Whether I join the one, 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 or the other one, two, two, or whatever it is, a deceitful government, you'll be punished come 2024 election. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Johnny, first one. The president is saying that he's keeping the light on whatever it is. The IPP people that is owing them, mm -hmm. they said you should come and pay. Right. IPP. They said you should come and pay one point mm -hmm. five what billion dollars. One point nine billion. US $1. $1. Yeah. You can imagine. A lot of you using the money uh, judiciously, you are using it to do unnecessary projects like National Cathedral. What sort of life is this? And when we are talking to somebody saying that some project, whatever it is, they are doing and things like that, they okay. shouldn't annoy us. They shouldn't have already. Ghanaians are really hungry. Thank you. Thank you very much, Papa. Grateful. I don't want to talk to my brother. It's okay. Enjoy your weekend. Yeah. yeah. Right. Be calming down, okay? All right, my brother. Uh, God bye bless bye. you, my brother. Uh, bless you yeah. too. <laughs> I have to go. My name is Johnny Hughes. <laughs> Mr. Massive. Me, Ashley. Let me say a happy, happy, happy birthday to uh, little Ariana. If you're crunching, Ariana, if you're crunching, you're six years today. We all call you Nana. Today is your birthday. Happy birthday from your parents, your aunties, your uncles, your siblings, everybody. We love you. Also, a happy birthday to Cadet Captain Nana Safu Osei Bonsu. Cadet Captain Nana Safu Osei Bonsu of the National Cadet Corps Ghana, aka Stuntebo. Blow be happy birthday to you. Live long. Nana Safu Osei Bonsu, Cadet Captain. It's your birthday today. Happy birthday. Today is Grace Hamwa Ajemai of Three Newsroom. What's up with you, Today is your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. The one who can Ding. stop Osofu from fasting Bonya. so that they can Bonya. they can feast. Oh so my God. Party. And also a happy, happy, happy birthday. You must be happy. The last one. Enjoy the party. To uh, hey. Mrs. Adelaide Soa ACM Yo. of Tema Community 21, so nice. formerly of Site 19 Community 1 Tema. More blessings and cheers to Be. good life and healthy life. <laughs> From Very Ikpe. Happy birthday to you. It's your birthday as well. Happy birthday to you. Tomorrow is 1st July. The National Cadet Corps Ghana will meet at the Black Star Square what? for that parade. Yo. Chief of Staff is the guest of honor. Oh. We will all be there. Have a great weekend. And if you have Momo, send us some, okay? If you haven't registered for the baby fair too, please do. It's very important that you do. 0244-4050. Yeah? yeah? Uh, and tonight is Corporate Connect. That's where Jeanette lost her spectacles. Today, I don't know what she may be losing. Hey! Crosby has never been there before. Chris Yali has never been there before. They are always doing welcome to the news at them. He's here. 3FM 92.7 oh, yeah, yeah. Urban Lifestyle Radio Station